Hello and welcome to Dribbling Over Driving. Today we're going to be talking about the Ferrari 620 Roma. I'm Jason Hassan and let's get into it. Especially in that silver colour, it looks a lot like an Aston Martin, as you can see here. But I also think if you look, take it from a side profile, it looks a hell of a lot like the Maserati Gran Turismo, which is not a complaint. I mean, that's a beautiful car as well. At the back, it's firmly in Ferrari territory, absolutely stunning rear end on this car. Um, I just think that the front of it looks super aggressive, uh, the back is beautiful, the side profile is beautiful, you know, you've got the cabin way back, the long bonnet uh, or hood for any of you Americans. Um, it's a stunning, stunning looking car um, that I'm sure no one would be uh, not wanting in their driveway. This thing is beautiful. Of course, it is a baby Ferrari. It's not one of their big V12s or anything, or V10s. It's, it's from the V8 line. Um, so this this is a, a touring car. This is a really, really beautiful touring car. Um, so of course, yeah, this is the 620. Uh, this is the follow-up to the 612 and, and that line of things. This is their, their touring car segment. They're not baby Ferrari, sorry. This is like the middle of the line. Obviously, you have the 488 and that segment is the smaller, cheaper Ferraris. You know, if you can call them cheaper. So yeah, this, this thing is stunning. Interior-wise, as you can see, this car is... It really reflects the outside of the car. This looks like a nice place to be, very sporty, very different a little bit for Ferrari as well. The center console design, the, the wraparound colors that you can get, um, the, the touch screen and the, the screen on the drivers and the uh, passenger side. It's really, really cool. So this this looks like, you know, kind of it's got the F1 controls, but it's it's definitely somewhere that they want it to be, um, you know, a beautiful place for you to live in, and a beautiful place for you to, to want to be every day. This, this Ferrari is, is definitely more of a grand tour with its heated seats and so on. This is a 911 competitor. You know, this is, this is people who drive a 911, um, you know, will pull up beside this thing and feel poor. Like, you know, this is the everyday Ferrari driver's car. Um, and I mean, when you look at, look at that, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. And while you're looking at that, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's very important. So let's move on to the engine in this car. Of course, this is from the V8 line of the Ferrari Roma, or of the Ferrari family, sorry. So you're talking, this is a 3.8 liter uh, V8, which is a lot smaller. The V8s for Ferrari seem to be getting smaller over time because I remember when the 458 came out and that was a 4.4, I believe, or 4.8. And if you go back to the likes of the 98, 2000 era uh, Ferraris, the 575 Maranello, which was a 5.7 liter V8 uh, that I nearly crashed into a wall at one point. Um, so yeah, these engines are getting smaller, but the beautiful thing is that over the years, people have figured out how to get more power out of these. So, talking less emissions, better for the environment, a little bit better on fuel and more power, so you can't really go wrong here. Um, Germans and Italians have been building this over years, so while the Americans are still putting their huge big 6 litre blocks into their muscle cars, which are also beautiful, don't get me wrong, the Italians and Europeans in general have been pushing towards smaller engines and just pulling more power out of those smaller engines. So yeah, this is a 3.8 litre V8, however, which is 611 horsepower, which is 
I mean, that's, that's impressive. That is an impressive stat from a 3.8 liter uh, V8. So they've still got the, the double clutch, uh, it's 20% smaller. The, the, this is a front engine Ferrari, but obviously as you can see with the long bonnet, the idea is it's more towards the middle. So it's a mid front engine uh, car, um, which is where they go a lot of the time with their, their Grand Tours. So according to Ferrari, the Ferrari Roma, or 620, whatever you want to call it, will reach 100 kilometers an hour or 62 miles an hour. So Basically, let's call it our not to 60 time uh, in 3.4 seconds, which is quite quick for a small 3.8 liter engine car. Um, on top of that, it'll do up to 124 miles an hour in 9.3 seconds or 200 kilometers for you people outside of the US and, and you know places where they have metric things. Like here where I am at the moment in sunny Mexico. Top speed, uh, Ferrari stated to be 199 miles an hour. It's very weird sometimes when a car maker comes up with these sorts of speed, you're thinking, right, it can do 199, couldn't they have spent another you know, few minutes, a few hours, a few days making it 200, so it's a 200 mile an hour car. But then again, how often are you going to be able to push this car to 199 miles an hour? Let's be honest, it doesn't matter, it's plenty quick enough. So this 612 horsepower Dream goes on sale in 2020. I'm not sure an exact time frame yet. Ferrari also neglected to announce the price, but given what we know from Ferraris before in this range, we're estimating it's going to be around $220,000, um, which for this car to be part of your Ferrari collection is probably a steal. For those of us who haven't got Ferrari money, um, it's still a little bit out of reach, but you know, hoping to test drive one next year at some point by popping by a show near me. Um, so yeah, that's the Ferrari Roma. Looking forward to seeing it next year. And thank you again for watching Dribbling Over Driving, uh, which is where we review different cars that are going to come out or preview cars. Um, of course, don't forget to check out some of our other videos, Ranting Without Reward, where I just rant about random things. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this and hit that bell icon so you can see when new ones come out. Thanks for watching Dribbling Over Driving. It's been good talking to you and this has been the Ferrari Roma Preview.